Russia's ambassador to the UK rejects allegations his country interfered in British politics or tried to steal vaccine research. I don't believe in this story at all. There is no sense in it. A record single-day increase in global coronavirus infections as nearly 260,000 new cases are recorded in 24 hours. The number of global coronavirus cases has seen a record single-day increase. The World Health Organization says nearly 260,000 new cases have been recorded in 24 hours. That's the highest ever daily increase. While Western Europe and East Asia have largely managed to contain COVID-19, the picture elsewhere is bleak. In Brazil and the US, where lockdown measures are patchy, there's no sign of the curve being flattened. And scientists say India, which has the world's third biggest outbreak, could be months away from reaching a peak. Well, the unprecedented toll of the COVID-19 was the key focus of the G20 talks on virus recovery and debt crisis today. Here's Mohammed Al-Jardan from Saudi Ministry of Finance. The COVID-19 pandemic has evolved to be the biggest challenge facing global economics economy since the Great Depression of the 1930s. In response to this pandemic, G20 countries are, ta are taking immediate and exceptional measures to address the COVID-19 pandemic and it is intertwined health, social and economic impacts, including through implementation of unprecedented fiscal, monetary, and financial stability actions. Time now for a look at some of the day's other main developments. The authorities in northeast Spain have further tightened restrictions in an area which was returned to lockdown a week ago. Catalonia is registering more COVID-19 cases than any other region of the country. The surge led to a tough new measures being announced on Friday. European Union leaders are to extend negotiations on a COVID-19 recovery plan for their economies and a new EU budget into a third day. They're struggling to reach a compromise between wealthier northern countries and southern ones. A revised package under consideration was for 450 billion euros in grants. Talks are due to resume on Sunday. The leaders of France, Germany and Italy have warned that they're ready to consider imposing sanctions against countries who violate a UN arms embargo on Libya. In a joint statement, they called sides to end what they describe as the increasing interference in the Libyan conflict. Twitter has confirmed that hackers made use of tools that were supposed to have only been available to its own staff to carry off Wednesday's cyber attack. The breach saw the accounts of Barack Obama, Elon Musk, Kanye West and Bill Gates, among other celebrities, used to tweet a Bitcoin scam.